you guys, so these carts are like everything. They have the cutest little rack on top you can put your cell phone. They have a cup holder and a little container and the place to put your purse. Love, absolutely love. I will shop here just for the carts. guys have seen these before but I have not how cool is this you can see exactly the temperature of the freezers at all times it's totally electronic I am loving this store Okay, everybody, so I went to Market 32, and it's by Price Chopper. Like, it's a Price Chopper store. So I used my grab bag to go to bring everything in the house, but it actually doesn't fit in the carts. And somewhere, either before or after this, you were going to see, I took video of the actual carts. They're adorable, and I love them, but they are super tiny. So I'm here to kind of review the store. I visually love it. Um, but this bag of food cost me $33.17. I saved $11.05 and I went in with absolutely no coupons because I was in the parking lot to see fireworks. I had no plans of going into the store. A couple cool things I got. Um, I got free bananas with any purchase of $10 or more and $2.50 off your next fresh meat or seafood purchase of $20 or more. These printed out as Catalina's. So I'll show you what I got just to kind of give you an idea. I got the apple and brie, um, blue, um, blue cheese salad, and it is, I'm going to ruin my daughter's salad, $4.99. So, you know, Wendy's is like six something, and I feel like this is like equivalent, if not more, um, product for your money. It does not come with dressing, but we have dressing here. And then I got myself the chicken Caesar salad, same price, $4.99. Again, it does not come with dressing. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff there is self-serve, which is really nice. I'm wondering, I don't mean to make you look at just like a bunch of plastic bags while I'm talking, but I'm wondering, like overall, this is going to be a challenge. I am going to see if I can challenge this store and see if I can use coupons and save in a store 
this store is expensive. There's like no two ways about it. So I got, this was one thing that was a really good deal. This was five ears of corn for a dollar. So that was crazy good. And I checked the corn and it was really good. So I'm just gonna get these plastic bags out of the way. Um, this one pepper that I got, and I should have taken this all out before, but I wanted to show you how much the grab bag actually holds. This one pepper was like 94 cents. So yeah, that happened. And then these are the little cookies from the bakery. I just wanted to see like volume wise, um, these yummy little candy cookies. Yum. I got three white and three chocolate and they were a dollar 94. So oops, sorry about that. So yeah. And then what else did I get? Nothing super exciting. Um, we needed onions. These were, let me check for you. They were $2.99 for this little bag of onions. There's four onions in the bag. And I'll show you guys, once I get this out of the bag, I'll show everything a lot better than this. But um, this will show you how much this grab bag actually holds. Okay, so I got a bag of white potatoes. And um, I want to tell you guys, I'm, I know I'm being fumbling and I apologize with all this stuff because I'm using one hand, but... The thing I found about this store that I find with Stop and Shop, Stop and Shop is better, and here's why. In Stop and Shop, if I want to get a, any product, any product, it doesn't matter, produce, frozen, dairy, meat, whatever, there's always one type of that item on sale. So if I want to get mayonnaise, let's say, there's always one type of mayonnaise on sale. It's not going to be brand specific. Like if you want Hellman's and Hellman's is not on sale and you get the store brand, that's fine as long as, well, for me, it's fine as long as I'm saving money. I found at Market 32, not every line has something on sale. So I shop, I'm a sale shopper. I don't usually buy anything full price. I am not brand specific because I would rather save the money and adjust my taste to whatever brand is on sale. Here I would not be able to do that, which is gonna make it very, very difficult to buy groceries on a weekly basis. Let's just say that. So the potatoes were, I think I already said, but the potatoes were $2.99. These were the cheapest ones. And like I could get them at Stop and Shop on sale probably for like $1.99. And there too, maybe I'm gonna, I brought home the flyer on the bottom and I am going to look at the sales that start tomorrow. I kind of want to try and master this store because it's almost like a challenge at this point. So like I got their brand of mayonnaise and it, but this was my point, like there was no brands on sale. Like the cheapest one they had was theirs and it really wasn't that much cheaper. It was like 49 cents cheaper than Hellman's. Um, but I did grab it because it was cheaper. So. I got the little breaded scallops. They were $7.99. And then I mix matched it with the um, breaded clam strips. So I got one free. So $7.99, so like $4 a piece. Eh, and that's okay. I can get it at Stop and Shop. Um, normally, they always have a lot of blinkies at Stop and Shop. This store didn't have any blinkies. Like, I went down every single aisle, which you will see in this video and I didn't see any blinkies at all. So I can usually get the clam strips um, for about two to 250 with a coupon. So this is substantially, when you add that up, you know, it's only $1.50 tonight, but if you add up stuff like that over a month, that's a lot of money on several products. It's a lot of money. Here's another example. So I wanted to get tartar sauce. They only carry one brand of tartar sauce in the whole store. So I bought relish because I have mayonnaise, so I'm going to make my own. And there was no brands of relish on sale, nothing. And um, the price difference in the generic was 20 cents. So, you know, it's tough. It's going to be a tough store. I'm interested to see... Um, this was a Starbucks purchase, so that doesn't really count. That's a mug. I'm interested to see what I can do with the sale flyer and coupons. I'm really interested to see if I can make a dent in the store because $33 and let me let me come back. I'm going to lay this out so you can actually see what's going on and what I actually bought for $33. Okay, so this is everything I got for that money. This is the mayonnaise. 
I got potatoes, I got one green pepper, I got the relish, I got the two pre-made salads, I got the seafood, right, which was buy one get one free, I got the cookies, the corn, and the onions. I have never spent $33 on this little bit of food, probably ever, not even when it's all meat. So, a little discouraging, but this goes to show if you are not prepared when you go in a store, you will probably overspend. So, recapping, I got the two Catalinas, no idea why, I don't know what triggered it because I wasn't prepared, and... 33.17 and I saved 11.05 by using my Advantage card. I received no gas points for anything on this order. So yeah, I'm going to come back next week and I am going to have a better grip on this store, I think. So stay tuned.